patrons. So this is how far I've gotten on my um, snippets project with the help of the Acu Quilt. Um, so today we're going to cut, uh, use the strip cutter, get two and a half inch strips of this, go around the outside. And then after that, I will confirm that I want to quilt it and then do a self binding backing. And I will try to record as much of that as I can. I'll have to shift my camera around. So let's grab out our Aki quilt and get to cutting. Okay. Go out. I need to name my machine. I thought I want to name it. Anybody else name their machine? We got the two and a half inch strip cutter from our cutting unit. And let's see. So I'm going to need 173 inches of strips. Right. For our fabric. Oops. Over 63 inches that way. Right? Yeah, about 90 inches. Okay. My blanket is 39 by 48. So I need this ninety. I need I'll only end up needing to cut two strips or make two passes. Ooh, this has 
this fight really really quick this one. three strips I can cut out of it. Okay. Get my bearing again. All right, so I need two. And this fold it over four layers. Our edges are. Oops, I'll go right side. I'm going to go right off the edge. Let's see where the end of it is. Actually, right about there. Okay. Okay. I fold it. There. Now the question is, does it cut here? All right, we'll find out. We'll find out. So here's one, two. We'll put a little bit over into that one. Make sure you have a nice straight edge. Putting that on. Oh, this fabric here it's hanging off in the way. All right. Here we go. Oh, no. I really want to be sure it doesn't get in the way here. Not doing enough, I grab it. Okay.
Okay, we only have only the graphics. I wanted to pull. Mm. Okay. I really didn't want to cut it. And then she just kind of instead of trying to force it, do what it naturally wants to do. Alright, let's try it down. I wouldn't have this much trouble if I just cut it. I'm aware of that. I'm being stubborn. This is why I'm doing this. So, see all the newbie mistakes and learn with me on what not to do. <laughs> what not to do. Don't be stubborn. Just cut the fabric. <laughs> Yeah, stuck it up in there. Now I'm just weak. <laughs> That's why they made the electric. Wonder if you like it. On my wish list. Don't be stubborn. I guarantee you it's still part of my problem. That's may come out all jacked up. It was pulling. We are here to learn. back to pull people are going no jesus christ lady <laughs> you're gonna break it for you i don't know how to use it Almost there. Almost. Let's see if it handled the abuse. It gave me some straight cuts. <laughs> what a fun. Okay. Whew. 
Let's see what mess we made. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Okay, so it does. Okay. So if I had, if I had put this a little further down, it would have finished cutting through my the ends of my fabric. Okay. So my strips would have still been packed, but it would have went through all the way through the end of I still have more fabric if I really screwed this up. <laughs> and this is just where I didn't know I didn't have it laid right to cut all the way through it. Can't tell yet about the rest of it. Straight. Look. Let's see if, if it survived the abuse. No? I kind of think it did. It went pretty straight, right? Good. I think we are a okay. So might be a little lucky. Right. right here. Okay, a little wonky. Like I said that is completely one hundred percent my fault. The fact that I got halfway decent cuttings despite the abuse. We're going to give her props. Open right there.
which so I need thirty nine inch two thirty nine inch and forty eight inch. Should I get one of each out of each of these strips? Math right. 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 Yeah. Horrible though, it's not off by much. Okay. There you go. You have enough wiggly room. I have wiggly room on my basking activator. Give myself a half an inch here. I didn't need to, but just to give myself a little wiggle worry. I need a forty-eight. myself a little wiggle room. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? Mm, about math wrong. Or about to math wrong. All right. But I'm not going to If I do so I do how do you see that? Say I do the thirty nine do thirty nine of the short ones. And these will be Forty seven and a half plus two half. Yeah. Still masking wrong. That quarter inch that came off when I sewed these these sides. So it's two and a quarter. Okay, two and a quarter that's left. And then on this side, another two and a quarter. All right. All right. I got it. Masking wrong. Okay. Which sucked because I already cut this. I think I could have saved it. Anyway, let me make sure if I get ahead of myself. Maybe seven. 
Oop. Forty-seven and a half plus two and a quarter plus two and a quarter equals fifty-two. Oh, look how close. Look how close. That is right at 51. <laughs> okay. I picked a hobby that requires math. And I don't do well with math things. Anybody else relate? Okay, so let me see here. Ninety-one. All right. What if I alternated it? So and one. I do one two and one two one two one what does it end up being? This is thirty nine plus two and a half. It's a quarter. I see a lot. It's a quarter. Then this is forty seven plus two and a quarter. Same, same. All right. Forty one and a quarter. The other one is three. Forty-seven and a half plus two and a quarter. Forty-nine and seven three quarters. Oh, would be the case. Quarters. Forty-nine. Quarter. Ninety-one. Need for ninety. Right. Yeah, ninety. <laughs> okay.
Oh, excuse me. Bless me all day. Okay. So, this one was a little short. Is it what it, I needed? I did a. Sorry, now I get to watch me math. Unless I cut this out, so we don't learn anything, right? <laughs> I can't look back and see how far I've come years from now. All right. If I do it the right way, I need two 52 inch strips and the two 39 inch strips. If this one needs to be added on to, this one's good. All right. 52 plus 39 is 91. Still an inch that I can't uh, So what am I do? What am I do? I'm going to get my blanket out, sew the first strip on, and make sure that my math thing is correct. And then we'll go from there. I won't torture you, I'll make you watch that. So I actually had a lot more on my, what I measured as 39 is actually too long. Which is a good thing when I go to get my other binding, I think. Alright, so. On this other piece. So. That right there. That should be plenty. Now let's see if that gave us enough this time. For the long side. Fifty-two, look at that. 
Okay. That's oh, sorry. I'll just add all, a little on to the other piece and we'll never know. All right. I will get this sewed together and be right back. We have the first strip on and I gave it a little press. So now we'll do the second short side. And that's the strip, which is a little long. That a little snip, and that may be all the fabric I'll need to extend the. It's a little short. So, and then we'll come back and we'll see if we get the long piece measurements right. And get them sewed on and pressed. Take a step back, make sure you like it. And if we do, then I'm wanting to do a self binding on it where I take the backing and sew it on. I saw Missouri Star did a technique where she sewed the backing around, left a quarter inch on each corner, and pulled the extra backing out on each end, and then did a dog ear cut on it, and pulled it right side out, and we had wider corners and everything, in a, in a width of border around now the the border will be un unstuffed, which I think I'll be all right with that. So if I do that, that means that I should um, put some batting on here and do some quilting first before I do the self binding backing. So. That is the tentative plan right now. Of course, I've done none of that before. This is only my third third quilt. So learning all the way. But learning is good, right? Keeps us young. <laughs> All right. I will go and get this sewed on and pressed and be right back. All right. We got our two short ends on. Now let's see what we'll do with the long side. One of our strips. That one will fit. I should have room, extra, extra room on it. And this one. Hmm. You know? I think I could make it work. If I allow just a little bit of that salvage to stay. Let me see that.
got a little dip to it. So I think I'll be all right. I don't want to do any other cutting. All right. So I get this pinned down and sewn on and pressed. And then we'll come back and we'll see how we like it. I've got all four sides on. I'm like, you take a little right here. All four sides. And this is my background, my backing fabric that I'm also going to use to bind. And I just did some math, or math. If I do 16 inches wider than my top, I should end up with four, this four inch uh, binding edge. So, um, but this is, try to get where you see it all. This is what it looks like. The purple's a little lighter than what the camera is showing, but it's still not too shocking. Um, this is entirely done with snippets and fabric that I have on hand. So, so I will um, work on getting it quilted. So I gotta put backing and I'm gonna put a little sheet underneath the backing and quilt this whole top and this will not be quilted and it will not be stuffed. It's done. And then we'll do a top stitch to anchor this down to itself. And then it'll all be done. Pretty cool. Back. Turn it off for a minute. 